Mi quieres na atapayana am na mahakia torosnu utupoi, mo ka ai hatir esne, shitiam na ai hotoda osnu uku or torosnu osum na mahayitia. Beginning by taking some deep breaths in, breathing in. Intonations of aqua, streams of liquid light to merge forwards into the body through the meridian energetics of the body, <coughs> filtering forward through opening up through the earth star chakra beneath the feet. Releasing gray intonation. As we begin to release the gray liquids trapped within the body. Opening space. As the streams of aqua flow through your vessel. Subtle golden particles merge into the streams running forwards into the deliverance of man, of woman. As we open forward through the body, through the human. With these spheres of gold, Moving into the nodal joins of the body through the intercepts. Releasing off anxiety, releasing off self doubts. Opening forward through the magenta. The magenta spins like um, a cyclone, begins to open forward through the vertical axis, entering forward through the crown. <clears throat> crown connecting to heart. Oscillations and graduation of the gradients maneuver through the liquid crystal gray to revive and re arc from tonal depletion
to multitonal essence, radiance opening forward through the triquetra, the trinity. We begin to see the intonation of the emerald, of the blue, of the turquoise, <clears throat> spinning through the triquetra, merging forwards into the heart. Connecting now forward through the many and the one, interceding through the bioenergetics. We open forward into the crystal halls of light. And as we move into this hall <clears throat> of white diamond, sparkling light, we begin to see the petals of the flower of life emerge through the stained glass window within the halls. Accessing diamond light rayons passing through to the infrastructure of the human as we begin to upgrade, modulate and synthesize. Seeing the diamonds now as four points surrounding the body and merging together at the core, the solar plex. As the four geometric shapes come together as one, we begin to see a pattern, a pathway, a tunnel of darkness emerge, situating through the body as the initiate opening up now into the field presentation. where well, we can understand this as a representation of a blocked horizontal axis. Opening forwards through the intervention, we connect with the angels of the intervention, the angelics, connecting heaven to earth, earth to heaven, to provide immediate release and relief as they pull forward through the horizontal vertical field, the horizontal and the vertical field. The magenta intonation liquid light to combine at the diamond intercept at the solar plex. Streams of white diamond, pink pearlescent, pastel pink to maneuver through the vertical axes to connect once again. Releasing anger, releasing a lack of self-worth, releasing 
reality imbalances, <clears throat> reality perceptional imbalances. <sighs> okay, so here as we intercept through the center point, I'm beginning to see multiple scenes of people, um, places, like realities, like similar to scenes when it has, has been tough on you and it's like, oh, this is not fair. Why is this always happening to me? So it's almost like victimhood as well. Um, so not seeing the full picture about a scenario, um, but a lot of it is that victimhood mentality um, coming through here. So we can now ask for corrections to be run to, to transform. And immediately we begin to see the blue and the emerald. So the sapphire and the emerald intonation maneuver through into this center point as nodal join for deliverance, connecting into the angel in the north in Newcastle and connecting to Brazil, um, the statue of Yeshua in Brazil. And we can go ahead and just see <clears throat> this blue sapphire and emerald color coming into these points, these um, statues, these nodal joins so if we look at the angel of the north or take that as a reference it's very rusted uh, or iron based and it doesn't look healthy it looks depleted and i'm seeing like a base layer of silver coming in here so we've got the divine feminine intonation coming forward through into the statue of the Angel of the North, opening forwards through the Ormus, base light alchemy. And seed in that silver intonation into the body as we replenish through the source angelic streams of platinum light moving forward through into the body into the almost space light alchemy um platinum codes with um like an underlay of gold opening a pyramid where each corner of the pyramid um, is connecting to this platinum light that's streaming down forward through the apex and gradually bringing a rotation through the center cyclone if you will as we intercede this beautiful set of codes coming into the infrastructure into the baseline alchemy we now open forward through the Atman, the Atman particle to collect, connect into and around the Ormus.
And I now begin to see the codes connecting into the Angel of the North, changing its color to a graduated silver, platinum, white gold, almost. So we're going into the really um, rich, light colors, really bright, changing that iron interface. And we begin to see the arc connecting. from Newcastle, from the Angel of the North, into Brazil. Into the, the statue of Yeshua in Rio de Janeiro. And the intonations of green and emerald. <clears throat> blue and sapphire, crystal light, <sighs> opening up, forward through <sighs> the heart, high heart and throat, ranges and as this occurs, as this begins to integrate, we go ahead and see on the body these areas light up with white spheres, one in each place, holding and hosting tonal arc light silhouettes refractions of light as it moves into the space. As deliverance with the stream of white light now running through the center point, running through each of these spheres, through the vertical axis. We begin to see the elements of the goat coming forwards now as this um, interplace, interplacement of light streams to activate through the body, pulsating and undulating, revealing interference, revealing negative attributes causing mischief within the infrastructure. We begin to see, it's ridiculous, we begin to see the goat stepping forward now, sat upon a chair. I feel this um, goat 
be a, a kind of negative association, like a negative structure of the earth elemental um, taking position as the dark structure. So as we look to this goat sat cross-legged on a chair, it's almost as if it was a human. Beginning to see the stone formation of the chair coming forwards. And the goat statue is also, well, the goat is also kind of like a rock. Um, configuration. And now what I see coming forwards is once again the triquetra, but this time in crystal orange. And it's returning from the goat, really tiny, coming from the goat's stomach and drawing backwards, growing bigger and bigger and bigger as it comes forwards towards you, entering into your structure, into your body. So as your orange triquetra begins to form back within to your body, this entity statue beginning to crack. like somebody's taking a hammer to it at the inside. Once this stone cracks, the statue falls apart. From the center point, I see a white sphere trailing with diamond dust, opening up and rising. Through the moon, I see maybe like three or four fairies. And I see the tree roots release from the bodies. Go ahead and breathe deep here. Now coming up through the um, through the layers of the earth, coming up into the land, into the base field, begin to see the Celtic cross. And coming down from the heavens, I see another one that's off off alignment with the bottom one and they land it lands upon the other and turns so both match 
like a key. Or like a puzzle. We can go ahead and see that happening through your body also. And as the key slots into place, the puzzle slots into place, begin to see the shattering of the external bodies connecting to the reality infrastructures that no longer work for you, opening up space, release into the earth for transformation and move outwards to the boundaries, the boundaries of the sphere. <sighs> Opening up fresh space. from the heavens and begin to see a blue body emerge through the intervention accessing into your structure accessing into your body to merge and connect as if the puzzle piece were to fit. And the same we see for the lands, for the field structure, three D and four D merge releasing all that can be released. The next layer. Accessing down and in to the intervention, to the earth. We now see the field and the person merge together as one. Building forward. Releasing much sadness, releasing much despair. Opening forward through the golden gates, we see ourselves walking through Golden Gate transfers.
and beautiful light tone arc essence moving forward now into this white domain. Begin to see streams of white, streams of magenta, streams of blue, streams of gold coming down, coming together as one and entering forward through the crown, through the horizontal, through the vertical. Tonal arc light reverence, streaming codes now into the body, into the upgrade. Merging forward through the sphere, entering through the harmonics, updating through the prophecy, through the blueprints. Arcing now to the source blueprint. Connecting both blueprints to the sun, to Solaris. Connecting into the morphogenetic fire. Updating morphogenetic transference. As we merge the blueprints with the sun and merge that with the body. We begin. To update our localized grids, updating the fields. Arcing now through all densities, all levels, all layers of light, re-arcing to the apotheosis. As we now draw back the light of the apotheosis, back through into the body, bridging the return, updating geometric structures, updating the cellular body. updating cellular blu blueprints. And we begin to seal now through the beloved, sealing forward through the source origins, sealing forward through the I am. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Breathing in love, breathing in light breathing in life. I uh, thank you all for joining today. Happy Beltane blessings. And when you're ready, you can come back around. Lots of love. <laughs>